on behalf of the survivors of the Armenian Genocide and in gratitude to their saviors. The Aurora Prize for Awakening Humanity honors the power of the human spirit that compels action in the face of adversity. Anyone, anywhere in the world is eligible for the prize. We salute those who dedicate their lives to enabling others to live and make a difference. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the inaugural Aurora Prize ceremony. To introduce the first award prize finalist, we invite a member of the Aurora Prize Selection Committee, co-founder of the 100 Lives and Aurora Prize Initiatives, president of the Carnegie Corporation in New York, Dr. Vartan Gregorian. Please also welcome member of the Selection Committee and Executive Director of the Women Peace and Security Network Africa, Nobel Peace Prize Laureate Lema Bowie. We have been overwhelmed with the level of response to Aurora Prize nominations. We've received 186 nominations from 27 countries in six languages. Unlike the authorities, she had no power. Instead, it is the kindness in her heart that gives her the strength to help to free people from the slavery of bounded labor. We now invite to the stage finalist for the Aurora Prize for Awakening Humanity, Sayyida Fatma. I am sure one day, together, we will change the world. We will see the world. The world where is no place for slavery, for inhuman practices. Thank you. Thank you very much. To recognize our second Aurora Prize finalist, please welcome member of the Aurora Prize Selection Committee, former Foreign Minister of Australia, Gareth Evans. And Shirin Ebadi, Nobel Peace Prize Laureate, human rights lawyer and Iran's first female judge. The Aurora Prize is dedicated to recognizing those wonderful people around the world who have sacrificed or put at risk their own life to save the lives of others. Imagine a war-torn town where every day people are subjected to bombing raids, where every day the whole blocks of houses are decimated and people are wounded and injured. And there is only one doctor to deal with all these injured people. Let us learn from the courage and the self-sacrifice of the great honorable Dr. Tom Katina. I'm honored to be here today to collect this award on behalf of my uncle. Um, I know he's really upset he couldn't make it today, but as you just saw in the video, um, his work is very important, and he's desperately needed there. To introduce the next Aurora Prize finalist, we invite a member of the Selection Committee, former United Nations Special Representative of their Secretary General on Human Rights Defenders, Haina Gilani. And a co-founder of the 100 Lives and Aurora Prize Initiatives, managing partner and CEO of Flagship Ventures, Nubar Afayan. Connecting the past to the present, the spirit of humanity creates a bridge to a more just world in the future. It is my privilege tonight to introduce and honor Father Bernard Kinby. The Central African Republic is a dangerous place. Yet, every day in the morning, Father Kinby opens the doors of his mission to help those who seek his support. And this he does because of his motivation to help humanity. This he does because of the generosity of his spirit.
pour sauver les vies humaines, il faut commencer par là. Cette célébration me confirme que seul l'amour peut détruire les murs de la haine. To recognize the next the Aurora Prize finalist, we now invite co-chair of the Aurora Prize selection committee and one of the founders of Not on Our Watch, filmmaker, activist, philanthropist and Oscar-winning movie star George Clooney. And the co-founder of the 100 Lives and Aurora Prize Initiative, co-founder and chair of the Idea Foundation, Ruben Verdanian. Tonight's awards celebrate heroism and bravery far beyond what most of us could do in a lifetime. And our nominees didn't graduate from some hero school. They were just everyday people who saw a need and they did something about it, something extraordinary. And so tonight we honor them. And in doing so, we honor the million and a half lives that were lost 101 years ago. And we honor those lives by calling their tragedy by its true name, genocide, the Armenian genocide. Hitler once famously said, but who remembers Armenia? The answer is the whole world. I want to say, for me, it's a very emotional day. Really, it was the dream of the Nubar Mine Vartan many years ago to make this award in Armenia. And I'm so great that today in Yerevan, in April 24, in a special day for Armenian nation, we are celebrating the who, people who really saved the lives of others in other parts of the world. It gives me great pleasure to present the next finals of Aurora Prize. Margaret Baran Gibson. A woman who became a mother for tens of thousands of orphaned children during the Rwandan genocide. She saw with her own eyes brutal murder, yet never lost her commitment to save those she could and her belief in the possibility of good. Never give up. Have you? Eh? Never give up. Oui, c'est la victoire de l'amour sur la haine. Merci, peuple arménien. Merci, vous m'avez donné le courage de retourner un jour pour chanter aussi l'hymne de mon pays. L'amour triomphera toujours. Merci, merci. the first, the very first recipient of the Aurora Prize for Awakening Humanity is going to go to Marguerite. And we decided maybe it will be best to give the person the opportunity to give money to institutions which she or he believe is the most, most inspiring institutions. And this institution will get one million dollars. And Margaret, please, you will tell us the names of the organization you have to nominate. Je vais appeler la Fondation Jean-François Peter. Let's welcome the philanthropist, poet, writer, actor, and composer, the legendary individual French singer, Armenian region, Charles Aznavour. Je voudrais remercier Aurora 